Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. If this is your first time checking out Trula Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great start to your weekend. With that, your reading looks really good today. Really interesting. So let's just dig in. Let's get started. We have um, the Oracle card of children. Know that your children are protected. So that's beautiful. So it says... All parents' first and foremost responsibility is to keep their children safe from harm. The angels want to reassure you that all is well. Your children in heaven and on earth are loved and protected by God and the angels. Your children function at their best when they are loved, cherished, and feel secure within their home and family environment. Mantra, my children are happy and safe. So that's beautiful. So for today's reading, we have the Page of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of, sorry, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, The Judgment, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, The World, and Ace of Wands, guys. That is the cards I have coming up for you guys today. So, interesting message. Um, I feel like there there is some type of third party situation. There is some type of, um, it's like you're involved with someone else who's involved with someone else, or someone else is involved with you and you're involved with someone else. If that makes any sense, but that's what I'm getting when I see these three cards here. There is a, a three way situation. So I don't know who that refers to, but I feel like um, she is kind of off in her own world right now. She is not seeing something um she's more focused on herself focused on balance focused on family focused on love um she is looking out into the distance but she's not seeing that there are people male figures so like the divine masculine there's two approaching her and i feel like she's in her own state of mind her own garden right now where she it's like she can't see this coming, um, these offers, these two people. And so kind of the message that I'm getting is that she may have met someone and they may have hit it off, but there is someone lurking in the background. Someone is looking from a distance that wants the divine feminine as well. So I feel like this is to my divine feminines right now. I feel like there is two um, offers coming your way for a relationship. Um, you have a page coming through and you have a knight coming through. For me, the knight uh, wants to offer that stability, wants to offer that security, wants to offer that full-time position where they want to stick around. They're looking back. They maybe have stepped away from you to kind of gather their thoughts, to think about things, but now they're making their way back. They're realizing that you are something that is worth fighting for. They're realizing that you're worth something that they want to keep. So they're trying to figure out how to approach you. They are trying to figure out how to bring that communication. And they know that they aren't the only competition in the, in your life. They know that there is someone else um, that's around you. Um, and that's this page. See, with a page, I feel like this is someone who is very... Um, they, they like you, but I feel like this isn't the commitment that you guys want in your life right now. This is just that um, in and out person, you know, they, they want you because they don't want anyone else to have you, but they're not making that 100% effort to keep you. They're not showing you that they want you. They just come in and out when they please. That That's the energy that I'm getting. So I don't know who this resonates with. But it's like, so you have a knight that wants to come in and provide you with that stability, that security, that relationship. And then you have a page coming through who sees this knight in an action and he wants to take a part, but he doesn't want the full-time relationship. He just wants the fun and the, you know, the getting to know you stage, the flirting stage. I don't feel like he wants that boom, boom commitment that the knight does. And again, like the Divine Feminine, she's just all up in her element right now. She's all up in her head. She's just, you know, enjoying her surroundings. She doesn't see this coming through. So I don't know who that resonates with, but 
that is what I'm getting with the first three cards is that there is two possibilities coming your way, two offers for love. Um, and I think you're just the divine feminine. She's just in her own world right now. You know, she's, she just wants to be happy. She wants to be loved. She wants to be stable. She wants to find that security. So it's like, which, which one is going to bring that, you know? And how, how do you, how do you figure that out as a divine feminine, right? Um, the night wants more. The night wants a relationship. The night wants a marriage. The night wants a family. The page just wants the fun. He doesn't want the commitment, but he doesn't want anyone else to have the divine feminine either. So that's kind of the message that I'm picking up for you guys. See right now where the divine feminine is. Um, again, she's all about family. She's all about balance. She's all about love. She's all about harmony. She's all about peace. She doesn't want the drama. She doesn't want the bullshit. She doesn't want the lies. She doesn't want the secrets. She wants something committed. So that's why I'm saying when this night comes through, it's going to be what you've been waiting for. But there is a page coming through soon. So Divine Feminine's got to be careful on which direction they go because this, is, this direction is going to lead you into this next chapter, lead you into this next beginning. See, I, I don't know. Now I'm... Wait. I'm picking up a six of wands too. So I feel like there could even be another offer coming through for the divine feminine. Um, three different offers. And maybe this, this six of wands, maybe this person has your, their, your friends and family's approval, but you're, you're not sure or you're uncertain or there's some red flags or something. And you're trying to piece things together because see, now I'm getting that there's three different offers coming through. So be careful with that. I mean, if you're sensing someone with a red flag, if you're sensing someone that's um, not, they just strike you as being not so different, but they just, they don't come across as being, um, stop Marcus, someone who you can see a future with, then at the end of the day, guys, you have to look within yourself and ask yourself what you want because Again, the Divine Feminine has a lot of offers coming in for July, at least for the end of July, middle of July, maybe the beginning of August. But right now where I see it, like it's happening. If it's not already happening, it's going to be happening. That communication is going to come through. This is a karmic cycle for a lot of you with this judgment, you know. This is those seeds that we have planting, the seeds that have grown. We have grown over the last couple of months. We have taken ourselves out of toxic relationships. We have been grown that's what i keep hearing but we are in this new cycle right now don't go back to once what broke you don't go back to the lies and the deceptions and this page if this page is coming around and they're just telling you what you want to hear they're just saying sweet nothings then you know that they're not even worth it it's karma right let karma get them because you have the power right now to change this direction. You have the power to say, you know what? I deserve better. I want better. I want a life of happiness. I want a life of love. I want something committed. I want something honest. And you can go for that because that is here. But not if you... These three offers, the Knight, the Page, and the Six of Wands. I say if you're going to take any, take the Knight. Really watch someone's actions. Um coming up. It doesn't have to be generally today. Even though the reading is for today, I feel like this is going to seem like the next couple of weeks, something is going to blow up guys, because there is a completion here. Things are rounding up. Things are happening. Things are coming together. Things are changing. You got to get on board. If you want this new relationship, if you want this new love, you need to get on board. You need to get your shit straight within yourself so that you can um, get all that you want to get, right? Sorry guys, one second. Grandma phone. All right. So your Oracle cards to talk today are you are destined for greatness on the wings of love. So that's what it looks like to clarify. The primary role of love are not to heal, fix, or mend, not to soothe, cure, or ease, 
not even to refresh, rejuvenate, rejuvenate, or restore hardly. The primary role of love are to Yahoo, Yeehaw, and Woohoo. Get your love on the universe. So that's beautiful. It says, start where you are. The great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone. Next, the universe, or heart, the next universe. Earlier disappointments were just rehearsals for the great stuff coming your way. Never regret love. No matter how blind it improved your vision, no matter how foolish it made you wiser, and no matter how generous it made you more. Heart, haba haba, the universe. Just beautiful. That's what I have for you guys for Saturday. I hope you guys are doing well. I will see you tomorrow. I'm sending you guys all love and light.